All right, and welcome everyone to a new episode of the Women's Empowerment Series. Today I have the honor to have with me Jessica Burgess, connecting from South Africa. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you and so much. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here with you. Oh, it's wonderful to have you. Welcome everyone. The Women's Empowerment Series and leaders from around the world who have Ah, 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 I was almost gone and back. This <laughs> prizes. So let us know where you connect from. We would like to greet and let us know that this is the first time. If you have vibes when we are live and to see who's with us, we are live streaming on LinkedIn, Facebook, and also YouTube. So welcome, Jessica. I'm going to let you introduce yourself and tell us about you and about the work that you do today. Awesome. Thank you so much. So as you know, I'm Jess and I have my own company. It's a life strategy company called The Burgess Method. And this journey has been about two years as a solid company, but my brainchild of starting a life coaching or life strategy company was really born four years ago when mm. I was working my way up the ladder. You know how we do, we go to school, we get the tertiary education, we get a job as soon as we can. And then after you've worked a couple of years, you're meant to be happy and you're meant to be wealthy. And that's the dream. And you mean, and, you meant to have it all. That's it. And you meant you're to good. have it all. <laughs> This, yes. is, this is what we're taught. And yes. I woke up one day and I just realized I was on this emotional roller coaster and I wasn't happy. And I had all these things. And at the moment where I was in one of the best jobs I'd ever had, I was earning more money than I'd ever been earning. I wasn't happy. And I thought, oh my word, this is a problem. But then I started to realize it wasn't just me and it wasn't it wasn't an external problem. It wasn't a problem with the job. It wasn't a problem with the environment. It was me. And it was the way I had prioritized my needs. So feeling that need of I wasn't contributing enough. I wasn't having enough of an impact in my day-to-day -day life. And that reflection kicked off this journey of life coaching. And so that is what I do now. Wow. It started so small. Yeah, it started with just that thought, just a thought. And so my first you, clients that, that I ever had. So I have a question. When that first thought was, I wasn't having an impact, you know, what is, how did you see impact? I think it was, really? so what I was feeling was, I had this, you're going to laugh, but I kept having this thought that if someone were to play my life back to me, like a movie, uh -huh. would I be happy with how people were responding to me? You know, would I be able to watch that movie and say, that was really good. I really, I had a great audience and I helped people. Or would I look at it and think I wasted my time? And then I realized I was in my space. I was making everyone else's dream come true, but I wasn't helping people like I wanted to. And I wasn't having the impact that I wanted to. And that impact was life-changing. I wanted to change people's lives. The how, I didn't know the how yet. The how hadn't even been yes. thought of. It was just, I wanted to change people's lives on a big level forever. Yeah. yeah. I love that. We always, and so your why was really big, which is helping people. Yeah. So the why was super important for me. And so I started small. And so like, is that when you start You started small, but you started. I think that's the most important thing. And it takes a lot of courage because be besides just knowing what you want to do, it's the courage. How did you get that courage to actually say, okay, I'm going to do it? Uh, that, so that's like my favorite question. Okay. <laughs> so <good>. at, first, <laughs> at first, I was a total coward. I knew I wanted to do this. And so when I was scared, I would plan. Plan, mm. plan, plan. But I would never put the plan into action. And... I don't even remember which YouTube video it was. I just know it was a Tony Robbins YouTube video. And he basically said, without action, nothing's going to happen. And I realized I had made plans for 50 years in advance. That's right. Just in case something was going to happen. And I suddenly woke up and I did like a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I just started. And when I say I started small, 
I, I just looked at people who had inspired me and my five people that I was going to model. And they were Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, Dean Graziosi, Tony Robbins, Lisa Nichols, and Trent Shelton. And when I looked at their lives and how they had grown up, they had absolutely every excuse not to be, an ex be a success. They had every exactly. reason not to succeed. And they so did. Terrible. You know, and the circumstances for all of my role oh, models true. were totally stacked against them. And then I realized I had no excuse because my circumstances were so much better already. And I thought, well, if they can do it, I can definitely do it. And do it. Yes. And that was huge. That was wow. It's true. I mean, it's incredible what you just said because a lot of stories inspire us, us. And when even yourself sharing that, the fact that you were able to do it, I'm sure somebody could be watching this today. I'm like, yeah, I can do it too. I can also, you know, take action and get started. And, and I think you said something extremely important is that you started small. We all start small. Yeah. No one just comes and start with a multi-million dollar company. No, it starts. It would be lovely, but you miss yeah. so much of the story. You know, I think I think it's the journey that has really been special because I've I'm so different from the person who started so small. My dreams are huge now. They're big, bigger than Good. I can dream of on one day, and then the next day it is just out of this world. And yeah, that's changed. I like that. So you keep your dream alive. But you start, you just take action. I think the whole thing is about taking action. And a lot of time, people have a dream. They spend their time planning, but yeah. take it. Yeah. No. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And I, I feel like what you just said there is huge. You know, you plan the dream, but when do you start? Because there's always a reason not to start. You know, it's the money isn't there. The time That's isn't right. there. I'm stressed. I'm tired. The knowledge so is not there. Something That's is happening in my life. Yeah. And it's, those are excuses. And they may all be valid. And this is something I've realized. Your excuses are usually valid. If you told yeah. somebody else your excuses, they would say, you know what, you're right. You don't have to do it now. But <laughs> those excuses don't get you anywhere. Whether they're valid or not, they don't That's get true. you anywhere. Yeah. So, and so that, you should ignore that voice. Shut it off. That's it. it. Done. I <laughs> I've got an acronym called DRASTIC. So anytime I think I'm getting scared or I know there has to be a shift, I say everybody who's done anything has taken a drastic measure. And the acronym is you have to decide. you just got to make the decision. Okay. You've got to be resourceful. So it's not about your resources, but get resourceful. So, so get resourceful like that. Uh -huh. Got to take action. Five, four, okay. three, two, one, do it. Uh -huh. You've got to have a strategy, but don't uh -huh. plan each intricate detail, just what's a five-step plan to get this done? And then you've got to be thankful. So when you're feeling oh, doubtful, you the strategy, the T is for thankful. Very good. You okay. to thankful. Then the moment you have fear, just think about what you can be grateful for. And then mm -hmm. intelligent, take intelligent action. And that doesn't mean you need to know everything, but make sure that you are thinking about what you're doing. Just yeah. have a plan. Reason. Be logic. It. It's like, don't, yeah, it's like, don't just throw spaghetti up on the wall. I'm like, maybe. Like, and, rip it the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the C is for collaboration. It's, it's about building relationships. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I think that that's something I realized with a lot of the clients that I have now, because my business has shifted very much into woman empowerment and young professional women and actually professional women from all ages who just decide they want to start their own company. Mm. it's the relationship you know I think when we started it's like my company and what I'm going to do and you very quickly realize that being an entrepreneur can be really lonely sometimes so as women doing this to stick together is it's the game changer the game changer is the collaboration building the relationships and a post is fantastic but nothing goes further than picking up the phone and having a conversation with somebody that's so true that is so true yeah. Yeah. And I think today with this digital connections, it's much easier to connect with so many women from all around the world. I mean, look at us today. You're in yeah. South Africa. I'm in Morocco. And here we have a conversation like we are sitting across, you know, the living room from each other. And I think this is priceless. And today the, the world have changed and we have more opportunities to connect. And the and incredible thing is that more we connect, more we see 
through our differences that we are the same actually oh, yeah. and i yeah you really are the same we go through the same things the same drives the same uh, things fears that we have the same doubts the same motivations and aspirations yeah incredible so tell me more about this female uh, entrepreneurs and young entrepreneurs that you help what drives them today what's your so doing? one of the things i work with most is it's all about the drive because fear is always going to be there and i think we have to just put that out on the table it doesn't matter how much you grow in your company the next level is always scary there's always scary because there's a level of risk And there are six human needs, and our six human needs are certainty, there's variety, there's the need for significance, there's the need for love and connection, and then we've got the last two, which are spiritual needs, which is our personal growth and contribution. Now, the first four are our emotional needs, and as human beings, we'll do whatever it takes to fulfill those needs, and that can be done through destructive behaviors, neutral behaviors, or positive behaviors. And so what a lot of people have is they prioritize their needs differently and that's where we get different personalities different drives different energy it's i've prioritized my needs a little bit differently to somebody else and most mm-hmm. people focus on creating certainty and creating significance especially when yeah. you're starting out as a young entrepreneur it's i want to have the certainty of the control of my future and i want to be significant i want to be important in the world yeah and i mean i think i think that's what we all start with is i want to be important and i want to make sure that i'm in control but the biggest it's the biggest trap because mm-hmm. when you start a business there is no certainty and yeah. you're not significant until until you start to contribute until that's you true. start to give back So it sounds really harsh but that's the truth and so what I first do with my clients is I show them how if they just moved personal growth and contribution which are your spiritual needs if you put mm. those at the top automatically you start to fulfill certainty significance variety love and that's connection true. Yeah. when you give back you grow and you um, get that significance and that love and that connection mm. and a lot of how you prioritize your needs comes from how you experienced childhood and that's mm. where a lot of my clients and I work together because they'll develop coping mechanisms as children yeah. and when they start their business i mean i don't know about you but when i started i realized i was very grown up when i started and then when i really started i realized i was just a baby and i knew nothing because <laughs> <'Cause> you're just <laughs> starting you're tiny yeah yeah so i true. knew everything and then i realized actually i know nothing and yeah. then i felt alone and i realized wait but i can't be the only one and i realized what was really wrong was i had knowledge i had mm. knowledge i knew what to do but of my course. coping mechanisms were not working for me sure yet and those were coping mechanisms exactly that i developed as a child and that's what of i do course. with my clients now you know because what, you go back to those automatically habitual yeah. yes. it's it's the behavior that you've trained so you know what made you survive as a 15 year old teenage girl is not going to work for you as a 30 year old businesswoman certainly not so, but it's a pattern that we've got into you and so yeah. the first thing we do is we identify that and we create a shift nice and then so you, you shift, shift the patterns the you emotional and patterns. habitual patterns because Absolutely. we all do that yeah and that's that is the burgess method that is that's burgess powerful method. because yeah. that's usually when people have doubt and they're scared that's because that's the way they used to be when they were 12 or 13 or having an yes. exam or passing something yeah, yeah. and they and were that looking for mm-hmm. permission you know you yeah permission that- and validation two things exactly that permission and validation should i do this can i do this and it's will i do a- will i arrive <laughs> like, when yeah. can i do it will- and i think I mean you would have known this as well. I mean anyone who started a business or had a dream that they've gone after, you've got to be so careful who you share it with. Because even the people closest to you, they're there to support you and protect you. That protect. doesn't mean that they're going to help push you and make you no. grow. That's, that's true. That's where you that's what you get from this sort of community, from other people who have walked the journey. Yeah. You know? Very well said. Be- and I always say that too, you don't ask for advice of for- from someone who didn't do it, who didn't mm-hmm. who is not at the level you see yourself in your future Absolutely. self and your goal achieved self. And so because when you ask somebody lower than that, he's going to just drag you down. 
Um, yeah. And it's, yeah, and it's not because they mean wrong or they want bad no, things. Not at all. And I think this is the big thing. It's it's not that those people don't believe in you. It's they are there to protect you. They're there to love you. And to protect somebody means to keep them safe, to keep them in a box. How do you <laughs> keep a precious ornament safe? If you have a precious ornament, you keep it in a box with cotton wool and you never That's let it out. Yeah. Don't exactly. shake it. Don't, don't shake it. Don't change your position. <laughs> Stay where you are. And exactly. And at the same time, what you don't realize is if you don't take yourself out the box, you never get to be appreciated and you never you get never to You never get to it. see what's happening in the world. You Spot never get on. to feel things. And those people are also, they give you advice out of their fear. So at some point, they might have gone after something that didn't work. So naturally, when you give advice to someone, you do it from a space where you can have knowledge, where you can give them advice from a, a good space so you'll say well i tried this and it didn't work so don't bother so dangerous mm -hmm. so you need to make sure you're very careful with who you share your dreams with and this is the first thing i tell my female entrepreneurs is don't tell everybody when mm -hmm. something happens celebrate with everybody but That's don't right. tell them what happens it's so dangerous yeah, yeah because yeah. they will just walk you out of that they'll talk you what out. it's like why are you bothering yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? What's the point? And I mean, look at our brain. I mean, our brains, they'll betray us every time. You know, our brain is there to keep us alive. It's not there to make us thrive. It's not Absolutely. there to keep us happy. That's our responsibility. But our brain is there to keep us alive. So if someone initiates that trigger of fear in you and they say, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Your brain starts analyzing and it says, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I'm not going to do it. And you will talk yourself out of it within five minutes. I mean, that is what the brain does. That's and true. so you have to train yourself to say, I'm scared, but that's okay. Because that's okay. if I'm scared, it means I care about it. If I'm scared <laughs> yeah. that it's not going to work, I care about it. Good. Come after. Yeah. That's right. You know, I always say, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to jump in something and create something big, you have to be ready to eat fear for breakfast. Yeah. Then you have some of it for lunch. Then you have later because they will always be that. You have fear. You're scared. But you keep yeah. on going. I want to say hello to uh, from the chat. Hi, Sana. So good to have you. We have a beautiful comment here. I'm proud of you, ladies. I always support women to be successful. And we need more support for women. I have my beautiful daughters. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm proud of them. And they're very, very, very successful girls that I, my goal, I accomplish. Congratulations. Oh, wow. well That's really That's nice. nice. I love that. Yeah. We need more women supporting women. I, and I think women thrive in the togetherness. That's yeah, yeah. where we thrive. And this is, this just, even my work, I mean, I work on leadership and it's a new way of being a leader with empathy. And in pity, it means what you love for you, you love for others. You want to manifest to be and create wealth and abundance, but that doesn't mean you take it out from someone else. There is space for everyone. And more, to, we are together, shoulders to shoulder, we rise, we elevate as leaders. And this very platform, the Women's Empowerment Series, it's really to showcase women that are working in similar industries that are doing and helping women because there is space for everyone. You can create connections. You can create magic by sharing, by being together. I love this beautiful comment. And I think, and that's what you embody, buddy, as well, Jess. And I really congratulate you for that uh, because being able to give a hand and to guide and to mentor is also being able to understand that together we rise. There is a togetherness that makes us more powerful. And more they elevate, you elevate, we all elevate. Yeah. That's so true. And I think we need to, we need to cut this culture of not being able to talk to each other and this fear of if I talk to someone about my business, they're going to steal my ideas. And, <laughs> you know, if your whole business, if your whole business can be crushed by having a conversation with another woman, it wasn't a good business. You know, wow. You need to <laughs> That's bring true. someone in the kitchen. You know how yeah. granny used to, how they used to teach us to bake, you know, yeah. they didn't have a recipe book that say you take a handful of this and a cup of this and a, and you would do the exact same recipe. Just and it's like never the same. Yeah. The same. So stop being afraid to invite people into the kitchen. You know, let's cook together. Let's make is, I like this image. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've met, 
I've met transformational coaches who say they've got the exact same target market as me. They know the same role models and they even use some of the same tools, but they will teach it so differently. And the people that they connect with will be so different, even though it's the same target market, we just, it will still be different. And you know, even if you meet someone who's doing something exactly the same, that's where the C and drastic comes in. Collaborate, work oh, together. Yeah. I so agree. Much yeah. yeah. Collaboration is beautiful. And, and we need more of that. And there is so much space. This is a huge, huge industry. And the world needs more of the leaders. This is a time where we really need millions of leaders leading the way into changing the way we think, the way we collaborate, with, the way we love each other, and we really yeah. celebrate each other for who we are. I think there is beauty in doing that. There is beauty in connecting. And there is beauty in sharing the space and the love. And, and this is exactly what we are doing. I have a question for you uh, about your you know you started as a designer and I think that's I so beautiful how how do you use some of that does it make you feel more creative more connected with oh, beauty yeah. so oh, tell yeah. me. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. so the whole story of education design, really fashion designer or is it uh home design, fashion design. yeah Ooh, so actually, I like that even better oh my god love <laughs> that it's you Jess. Yeah, so oh. when I when I left high school I I was all about being a teacher and for some uh -huh. reason last minute I was like I don't want to be a teacher I want to be a designer mm -hmm. <laughs> so I studied fashion design and actually I loved fashion design just for the of course who doesn't like fashion design are you kidding me and the variety I mean there was a glitz and glance in the industry that mm -hmm. is undeniably beautiful I mean you can't can't not love it but and uh then I ended up being a fashion lecturer so I then became a oh. teacher anyway and that I think all of those steps led to where I am now because it was being a teacher, being able to sit across from somebody who had no idea what was on the other side of the information and seeing that aha moment. I mean, that is like, that's my drug. Mm. <laughs> very, when very I'm knowledge. Teacher. It's like, yeah. And so Who were you teaching? what did you teach? How to dress, how to design, how to draw? What is it? So I actually taught communication and social studies, so almost like a fashion psychology. So mm -hmm. learning how to dress and communicating through fashion. Oh, I like that. So nice. That I still use, you know, really? when clients tell me, oh, they're a business owner, but they don't want to be the face. You know, the first thing I do is you've got to be the face of your business. So oh, yeah. dress the way you want people to perceive you. And there's mm -hmm. so much psychology in the what we choose to wear. You know, even on the days where you think, I'm just going to put on this T-shirt and jeans, you're saying something on that day. You're saying something yeah, with that. Yeah, you just want to downplay yourself and just relax Absolutely. into who you are. And I mean, if you want to feel good in an interview, pop on some lipstick, put on a fancy <laughs> jacket, or put on your favorite top, you're going to feel so much better in that interview. You totally of will. Course. Yeah. Yeah. So dressed for whatever you are, you want to project, you want to be. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Use your dress to mirror that image of yourself that you want. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And and play with it. You know, I think I think you've got to bring all those elements of play. And I think in business as well, I think we get so caught up in the, the logistics and the practicality of starting a business that, and I, I did the same thing when I started, it was all about the goals, you know, this is the goal, this is the next step, that I actually forgot to celebrate so many of my small wins. Mm -hmm. And it was only recently I looked back and I thought, oh my gosh, actually, I've done a lot, you know, and I think you need to celebrate the first client the first day, even if you have the first day of business and nobody walks into the business, just celebrate that you open doors that day. That is an oh, yes. is oh, achievement, yes. Yes. you know? I agree. It's made, I agree. Those, those small wins, somebody, one person following you, one person connecting with you, all of those things are so special because it's the start of momentum, you know? And I think when you get into that momentum, it becomes so much easier because you start to reinforce that belief of, I might actually be able to do this. And eventually that I might actually be able to becomes I can totally do this. This mm -hmm. is exciting. And it starts to spiral. And eventually you have a company that's, that's just full of possibilities and excitement and more dreams. And you want to bring more people on. And that's where it happens. That's where the magic happens. Yeah. And so the magic happens when you believe in what you do and when you persevere. 
And no matter what, you're just there and you continue and you carry on. And you said it so well. Even if you open shop and nothing but it showed up, it's okay. You're just happy you did and you're grateful yeah. you did. And you celebrate that for being able to stand on your word and discipline yourself to do things continuously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't run away from the failures. And I mean, don't even think of things as failures. The only time you fail is when you decide to stop. You know, mm. I mean, I've had events where nobody showed up. That's okay. It's okay. You know, okay. nobody even knew who I was. I've had clients not show up. And then all of a sudden I started realizing, okay, I need to communicate differently. Then they showed up, you know, and then it was, I need to advertise differently. It's, it's about learning, you know, not, nothing is a failure. It's all just learning. You know, if and, you feel you like see, you put a lot of energy in, put more in. Yeah. And the fact that you needed to still show up and be there, you built up in knowledge and maturity so that when everybody, when you were ready for everyone and everyone was ready for you, you actually were good at it because you've done it. And I yeah, think it's and to it's, understand. Yeah. Oh, no, you're spot on. And I, I just think it's that when clients are starting their business and they're working through it with me, when they say this happened, I can say, it's probably going to happen again. Don't worry. You know, and it, it does. It really does. And I think that's something else we really need to talk about when we when we connect with other women and we are elevating each other up is I think a lot of women see the success stage. You know, it's now I'm famous or now there's a company. There was so much that happened before that. There are, you know, the awesome reels you see on Instagram that was shot 20 times and edited and there were mistakes and you know, don't don't get hung up, but we do need to talk about where things were hard. And I think that's opening a whole new level of community amongst women is saying, don't worry, I actually also had an event where nobody showed up or I was open for six months and I only had so many sales. It's okay. It gets better. And I think having that all the stages communicate, the startup stage, communicate with the end stage, communicate with the I'm in the middle stage and it feels a bit weird all of those stages need to communicate openly. And that that's also a game changer because it also, it manages your expectations. That's right. You know? that's right. And that's important because I think we all start the business with, okay, in three months time, I'm going to be a multi-billionaire. And no, maybe it not. doesn't happen. Maybe not. <laughs> it doesn't happen. And, and I think we need to talk about that, you know, openly with each other because that's important that's that we say, it's all right. Like you, you do need to persevere. Yeah, that's so true. And I love that. And, you know, this is a, a, a women's month in this part of the world. We talked about it before going live. I mean, <laughs> the 8th of March is the International Women's Day and we celebrate in it. But you told me in South Africa, it's not in March. It's, it's when not is in it? March. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure ours is in August. But you know what? I can celebrate women more than You can celebrate with us. Exactly. <laughs> so let's celebrate it. And uh, I thought, I, you know, it's interesting that it's all focused in one month, but it's actually every day is a celebration for mm -hmm. women, for who they are, for creating life, for carrying life for really believing and having the courage and sharing sharing and sharing the love the empathy the knowledge the expertise and uh, that likes what you do and i congratulate you for all what you do jess this is really incredible i think we need more women helping younger women because we want them to believe in themselves to grow resilient to grow confident and it takes a lot of courage a lot of understanding and a lot of support and guidance and so that's why i mean whoever wants guidance i invite you in jess works with with young entrepreneur we also have different programs to empower women to help you so that you can become the leader you dream of you can launch a company successfully i'm going to drop your link jess um you. If you have a link to your, uh, to your work, to your programs, you can also put it on Facebook and LinkedIn in the comments later. So uh, this was really nice. Would you like to say a few words at the end as we wrap up our beautiful Yeah, session? thank you so much. Just first of all, it's just been an honor and a privilege to meet with you today. This is one of those milestones for me today. Mm. And as an end off, I just want to say that it's not a lonely journey. You just need to connect. And there is tons of help if you are on your journey or starting your journey. There's help at every stage. Just be brave enough to ask for help because none of us ever did it by ourselves. We all no. had help. True. Yes. That's Thank beautiful. You so Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. If you are watching us on replay, hashtag replay, we will be checking the comments and we'll be so happy to respond to everything. Thank you. And I'll see you on the internet. Bye.